here's another challenge that was presented to me by Christian missionaries. They tell me, what sin was it that brought the Holocaust upon the Jewish people? It must have been a terribly grievous sin. And they, the only sin they could figure out is it must be because the Jewish people rejected Jesus. My response to these missionaries is, if the sin of rejecting Jesus brought the Holocaust upon us, then I thank God that it, prevent us, it prevented us from being the perpetrators. The tragedy of the Holocaust, of course, six million people died is a terrible tragedy. But the bigger tragedy is that humanity was able to sink so low and commit those crimes. And those crimes were born in the womb of the church. There's no question about it. No one could deny it. That the church was the place which harbored this hatred and, and this anti-Semitism, which ended up being the Holocaust. Christians argue and say, well, the church never had a policy of racist, Anti-Semitism was always religious anti-Semitism, false. The church did have a policy of racist anti-Semitism. In Spain, where many Jews had converted to Christianity, the church developed a whole set of laws defining and, and legalizing racist anti-Semitism. In other words, anti-Semitism against Jews that were Christians. Jews that were Jews by birth, but Christians by belief.